silent tonight Holy night All is calm All is bright Round the old virgin Mother and child Tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heavenly peace Silent night Holy night Shepherds quiet Glory stream from heaven afar Heavenly hosts sing hallelujah Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, from the old virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, in the high. Let my king be lifted high. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne, you are the glorious God, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Your name is Alpha Omega, ageless, changeless, almighty Jehovah, 
glorious God, I bow before your throne. Your name, Lord, is Alpha Omega. Angel, you are changing. You are mighty. You are Jehovah. Glorious God, I bow before your throne. Your name is Alpha Omega. Changeless, you are changeless. You are mighty, Jehovah. Glorious God, I bow before your throne. Your name is Alpha, the beginning, Omega, the finish alone. Ageless, you are changeless, changeless. You are mighty, Jehovah. Glorious God, I bow before your throne. Oh, holy, holy, you are holy, Lord. Take 
your place, Lord, and reign. You are awesome, Lord. You are. You are awesome, God. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. You are Lord Most High. You are Jehovah. We bow down to Your name, Most High. We bow down, O oh Lord, for this is holy so come and bow down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you, brother. Jehovah, Jehovah, that's his name. Amen. 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 What kind of a Christmas and I think is that? What kind of a Christmas is that? This is, this is Christ. Why this is Christ. Trying to give Christ to other people who don't want to hear it. Well, all you got to do is walk away, my brother. No, you have the microphone. No, you could walk away. If you don't want to hear it, you can walk away. I can walk away from the loudness of your voice. You can walk away, brother. I can walk away from the loudness of your voice. You got two feet. The insolence. Just because you hate Christ. That is disgusting. Just because you hate Christ. We don't hate Christ. I don't hate Christ. Yes, you do. I don't think that you have any business you try, you try being here her by in this city telling other you, people brother. what to think. God bless you, brother. You try, try to tell me what to think yeah, and what to do. No, you're telling me what to think. So, right. Jesus, what's up, my brother? You got to go, bro. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. Amen. It's good to be here in Jesus' name. The Bible says Jesus is the way, He is the truth, He is the light. No man can get to the Father but through Him. God bless you, brother. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. We are here live in Central Square. We are preaching the Word of God. We know the devil. He's come here to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. And this is an abundant life. You know, I thank God for the life of Jesus Christ because he gave up his life so we could have life. And that's the thing. Jesus gave his life so we could have life. And now this is the abundant life. So God is good. Not just once in a while. Not just good. You say God is good? Who are you to say God is good? And you're you're in sin. You're in alcohol. Yeah. I could tell you, I could hold it, but I used to be just like you, yeah. and that's how I know God is good. Because you're God. He changed me, and he could change you too, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. He can change you, brother. All you got to do is just give your heart to, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and let him into your life, and watch. There's going to be a change in your life. Your heart is your, it's from your heart, man. It's from your heart. Right there. It's from your heart. That's it. I can see the sun. So with the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know, we got to understand this. Everything comes from your heart. And the Bible says that the heart is deceitful and wicked, but who shall know it? God knows your heart. God knew my heart when I was an alcoholic. He knew I was a, a, a fornicator. I was a adulterer. He knew all these things, but once I gave my life to Christ, it's been a change. It's being rearranged. Old things have passed away. Everything became new. I'm a new creature in Christ. So here in Christmas time, people are shopping for their gifts and put gifts on their Christmas tree. Jesus Christ has a special gift for you, and it comes from above. The Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift comes from heaven, and it's free. You know, you go to Target, you could go to Metro PCS, you could go to H Mark, you could buy a gift. But all you got to do with Christ is call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Amen. There's no price, there's no debit cards for this. There's no credit cards. You will never be broke. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Jesus' hand is always stretched out. The Bible says, his hand is not short that he cannot save. 
And Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to heal you. Jesus wants to deliver you. But people had hearts are too hardened. How can your hearts to the word of God? Because the word of God has changed me and it could change anybody here in Central Square. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that's how good God is. He's a good God. He's not a bad God. He's a good God. The bad one, the evil one, it comes from the devil. Satan himself. The Bible says that woe unto them to call evil good and good evil. And right now we're living in an evil world. You got all these things going on in this world. You got abortion. You, you know, they legalize marijuana now. What's next? Same-sex marriage. You know, all these things going on. Is it against, is it abomination? It's abomination. That's the magic word right there. Homosexuality. People get so angry when a, when a preacher says about that. But the Bible says that the world's going to get angry. The world's going to get worse and worse. People are being deceived by the devil. But all we hear, we come out here with open hearts and open minds to tell people. Yeah. To spread the word out. Yeah. What's your name, brother? <laughs> What's your real name? Your name not Snoop Dogg for Central Square. Triple OG? Oh, That's who you are? I'm going to call you Triple OG. Every time I see you, I'm going to call you Triple OG. I know who's my Triple OG. I know who's my capital G. And his name is Jesus. Jesus is the name and holiness is the game. The Bible says without holiness, no man can see the Lord. No man can see the Lord. We got to be holy. The Bible says be holy for I am holy. Just like the Holy Ghost, brother. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You need the Holy Ghost. You want the Holy Ghost? You want the Holy Ghost? I know We got the Holy Ghost, brother. If you want it. It comes from your heart. It comes from your heart, brother. If you want the Holy Ghost. And Christmas is all about Christ. Christmas is all about Christ. But people take Christ out of Christmas and put an X for the Xmas. But put a Christ. It's Jesus Christ. He is doing. Why should I tell you what I want? What you you dare God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Christmas Day is a wonderful day. Christmas Day is a beautiful day. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, If the son is given, a child is born, and upon his shoulders is a government, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father, and that is God. God wants to bless you, brother. God wants to bless you, but you're hardening your heart. That's the problem. Your heart's hardened. But you got to come to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only. Because he's the only one that can save you. He's the son of God who came to save you from your sins. And there's your sins, brother. I'm very cordial. But everybody know me out here. And everybody God is know good. what God kind is of good. authority God I bring. is good all the time. You know what I'm saying? Time, God Ain't going to be no disrespect when I'm around here. David, you know, you know what I mean? No matter what it is, is, yo. You could be Bless Muslim, Christian. The name of you know what I mean? The Indian, Bless Hinduism, the whatever. You ain't going to come over here and express hate. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm here, you know what I'm saying? If you ask me, pause it. But David... David no, he ain't disrupting. was a man who was called by Central God. Square. He was a man this after man God's own heart. Why can't you look at me and talk to me like that? 
God, David was a man that was, was, was after God's own heart. You know what I'm saying? My last name is David. So you, you know have to understand and get this. King. Because so put, combine that. God is a good God even in the Old Testament you know as well as it is in the New Testament. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same God. He said, I am God and I change not. People attitude changes. Because you're gonna hit me in the People face weather, right weather changes, but God so never changed. But he's a loving God. He's a loving God. He's a wonderful God. He's an awesome God. And he wants to save you. He wants to bless you, you and your family. He wants to bless you. He wants to, he wants to be in your life. Because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He is he is the only way to get to heaven. Because my God, the situation is dictating that well, you we got to understand the is that a lot of people do not like the word of God. Yeah. That name Jesus that is above any That man is being disrespectful. No. He won't no. shut up. No. He has a microphone no. and he's forcing no. everybody to Lord. listen to what he's saying. No, he's Jesus not forcing Lord. Lord. Jesus Oh, yes, he is. And why are you getting so loud and belligerent? Why are you getting so loud and belligerent? Did I raise my voice? To everybody to come to repentance. You know what I mean? That man is raising his voice to everybody, and he's forcing them to listen to him. But nobody else is being mad. Nobody else is upset. It's a but you. You're the one who's looking for the Holy Ghost. God has a gift for you, and that's the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's, that's not a gift that's under a Christmas tree. It's not a birthday gift. It's a gift that God has for the whole entire world. In John chapter 3, verse 16, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For whosoever believes in him, doesn't matter what color of his skin you are, doesn't matter what you've done in the past, you could be Asian, you could be Japanese, you could be uh, a Muslim, you could be an Arab, you could be black or white, you could be anybody. But whosoever believes on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And that is the name of the Lord. I know what God took, us, took me out of. Took me out of alcohol, took me out of drugs, took me out of fornication, took me out of so many things. He called me out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Yes. And you can see what's going on in this world, mm -hmm. that people are hardening their hearts. People are going against the word of God be because we are living in the last yeah. days. The so Bible says in the last days, perilous saved. times no, shall come. I got a good heart, bro. It's going to get worse. Person, you know what I'm it's going to get worse and worse. Yeah, People, Christians, even Christians going to get killed for, the, for, for preaching out in the streets. That's going to happen. But let me tell you something. The Bible says the gates of hell cannot prevail against the kingdom of God. The devil be trying to kill Satan. The devil be trying to kill the kingdom of God since the days of Moses. Try to destroy the word of God since the day of Moses. But listen, the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. The gates of hell cannot prevent, can go against the word of God. But I would like to say something here. I'd like to give my little testimony because I'm a living testimony. When I was born, I was raised up in the church but I didn't want to go to church. My mother used to drag me to church when I was a little boy. But I knew who Jesus was. Or did I? I knew his name, but I didn't know, I didn't know anything about Jesus. And I used to watch his program when I was a little boy about Bible prophecy. And I always remember this program. This program talks about nuclear war diseases, natural disasters. And this is way back in the 1970s. Then I went through my sinful ways. 
I started drinking and smoking and having sex. I was doing all these things with the world. Then the two planes, with the two planes hit 9-11, it brought me back to that same TV show when I was looking at when I was a little boy. And that's it. I, was, I grabbed a Bible. I grabbed a Bible. And I was looking for a church. Couldn't find a church. And I couldn't find a church. I went on my merry way. Went back to my sinful ways. Then in 2005, Hurricane Katrina flooded Louisiana. Then I ran into a pastor. Pastor gave me the word of God. I went to Bible study every week. I went to prayer. I went to Sunday service every Sunday. And it built out my faith. Because faith without with, without faith it's impossible to please God. But faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. It built up my faith. And I knew I have faith in Jesus Christ. I used to have faith in politics. I used to have faith in my own wicked ways. But once I gave my life to Jesus Christ, it built up my faith. No, now knowing that we are in a spiritual warfare. We are in a warfare, spiritual warfare. Flesh against the spirit. And that's where we end, saints and friends. We are in a spiritual warfare. But you could be saved. The Bible says that you must be born again. You must be born of the water and you must be born of the Holy Spirit. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. He asked Jesus, what must I do to make it into the kingdom of God? He said, you must be born again. But he didn't understand that. Nicodemus said to Jesus, do I go back into my mother's womb and be born? Jesus had to break it down to him. He said, you must be born of the water, which is the baptism, and you must be born of the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. And he commands everybody to be born again. If you're not born again, you will not make it into the kingdom of God. Saving a cat on the save, saving a cat from a tree or open up the door for a lady is not guaranteed you're gonna make it into the kingdom of God. You gotta be born again. Saints to friends. You must be born again, the Bible says. And that's why we out here to share, to sound the trumpet lift up our voices to every creature the bible says preach to, preach the word of god to every creature baptize him in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost and we were going to baptize people 2019 it's a week from now and it's going to be some changes it's going to be some things going to happen into this world no, my God loves me because but listen, that I fight for the we're here for you. you we're not here for ourselves. We are here for you, Central Square. Blood, yo, if you, know you know want to be baptized, I will baptize you in the name of, of Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? If you want to change in your life, jail for that. Wow. We, for that's why we're here for. I could be home, sitting in my bed, underneath the covers. But I'd rather be out here preaching the gospel. To let everybody know there's salvation, there's hope in your life, and Jesus Christ is the only hope. He's the only way. He is the only truth, and he is the only life. Say to friends, don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow might be too late. Like I don't care who you are. Tomorrow might be too late. The Bible says life is nothing but a vapor. You can walk across the street and hit by a car. You could get on a plane and get into a plane crash. You, know what I mean? you can have a stroke or a heart attack. Uh, yeah, many, there's so many ways that leads to death. You know what I mean? because there's only one way to get to heaven. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ could give you eternal life. Not through Donald Trump and not through Oprah. Nobody else. He could give you eternal life. Because life here on earth don't last long. 
Life here on earth don't last long. Somebody died last night and you're blessed to see another day. And that is a blessing itself. You might not have big cars and, and big houses to live in. You may not have a lot of money. But if you got Jesus, you got everything. You got everything. And God is everything. And God is everywhere. But he's not in everybody. He's not in everybody. He's everywhere. And he's everything. But he's not in everybody. And that's what we're here for. We can te teach you the way. We can show you the way. All you got to do is just come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. You know how you look for a job? You look for a job. You, you do anything. You fill out the applications. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You fill out an application. And you go to a place. And you work for it. You went to that job. But Jesus wants you to fill out an eternal application, and that is his salvation. Come to Jesus. God has a job for you. God has a job for each and every one of us. If you don't have a job, God has a job for you. And it's to work for him, to work for the kingdom. And his name is Jesus. The Bible says that he is the Alpha, he's the Omega. He is the beginning and he is the end, which is, which was, and which is to come. And Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back like a thief in the night. He's coming back on the where? He's coming back on an ounce. He's coming back like a thief. Imagine a thief breaking into your house. One thing about a thief, a thief doesn't go through the front door. He goes through the back door try to sneak up on you and that's how Jesus Christ is coming he got his own surprise party and everybody's in it everybody is in it or like I said it's St. Francis and Central Square those at the bus stop take heed to these words that Jesus loves you and Jesus is willing for nobody to perish but wants everybody to come to repentance there's no greater love than a man that laid down his life for his friends. There is no greater love. He loves you more than your mother. He loves you more than your father. There's no greater love. His love is the greatest love. And the love and the God that I serve is a great God. He's a merciful God. He's a gracious God. He's a wonderful God. He's an awesome God. He's a beautiful God. And this God came down in flesh and died for me. and died for the whole entire world. So, I love you all. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to pass the mic over.
You don't have gloves? I have no, <laughs> I need to buy it. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you all. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. No, I was, was in Los Angeles. I was in Los Angeles. Powerful, um, came powerful speaker. His wife passed away. Yeah. Um, oh, but he passed away. And we'll I just say a few words on way. And we're gonna pray. Can we pray just for a bit? Yeah. I right. we need to pray a bit. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We ask you to bless my brother Wayne, Lord Jesus, a sincere man, Lord, Heavenly Father, who loves you. You be out here in the streets a lot, sharing your word, sharing the gospel, Lord Jesus. So we ask you to anoint him, give him the right words to speak, Lord Jesus, give him the strength that he needs, Lord Jesus. Help him, Lord, Heavenly Father, through his troubles, his trials, and his tribulations. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. I ask the Holy Spirit that you would mightily move, undergird, undertake for every need tonight. Thank you for Joe. Thank you for my brother Michael. And uh, thank you for our sister Cindy and for uh, what you're going to do tonight. We pray. We just want even one lost soul, Lord. One. one. I, I think uh, often, as, as, or I thought before, as far as the 99 you left, as far as the shepherd did, but what if that lost soul were me and, uh, and you went for that one? And so we pray, even if Jesus one comes to Christ tonight. Amen. And that's the message. Jesus loves you. Amen. Amen. Praise you. May the Holy Spirit mightily move, penetrate, and powerfully touch the people tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, brother, go do your thing. Well, we come out here tonight to uh, share with you the love of Jesus Christ. It's a beautiful night. I think it's December the 22nd of 2018. Three days to Christmas. What is Christmas all about? What is it all about? So we challenge you. We challenge you, Gabriel, Gabriel, the angel Gabriel said, Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Are you ready for some Jesus tonight? Are you ready for Jesus Christ? Amen. amen. Are you ready for some Jesus tonight? Amen. He loves you. He died for you. He rose again for you. What more could he do? Amen. What more could he do? He was what? Elevated on a cross. Amen. At Mount Calvary, he was publicly seen. A public execution. He did no wrong. He was not a criminal. He did no offense. As a matter of fact, it says in the Bible, they hated him without a cause, and they'll hate you too. Amen. And they'll crucify you, and they'll put you on a cross, so to speak. Romans were very, very what? Were very, 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 very powerful people. Rome. They put the fear of Rome into man. Crucifixions up and down the street. Thousands of Facebook? crucifixions. Huh? And Facebook? there our Lord hung on that cross. That. What more could he do for you? Those cold metallic spikes were driven into his warm flesh. What more could he do? And there you sit or there you stand and there you look and say, well, I don't know about tomorrow. Well, Paul Walker, he's 40 years of age. He died. Robert Williams committed suicide at 63. We're all going to die. We're all going to the graveyard someday. What are you going to do with eternity, with the afterlife? What if Jesus is true? Down here, Harvard, 1638, founded as a Bible college by Pastor John Harvard. Look it up on Wikipedia. Amen. It's even on Wikipedia. John Harvard, Pastor John Harvard, founded Harvard Bible College in Cambridge, Mass. in 1638. It was a Bible school for the promulgation, the promotion of the Word of God, training and what? Teaching ministers and missionaries to go out and share the Word of God. Amen. Are you ready for some Jesus tonight? Amen. Come on. Ayo, Emmy in the Greek. Ayo, Emmy. I am the door. Amen. Amen. I am what? I am the resurrection and the life. That's John 11:35. I am. I am arrow. I am God. Oh, you say, Pastor? That you? No, no. Son of God. Son of man. Those are titles for God. Jesus is God. Came in the flesh. Born what? As a baby. Listen. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask? What, was he a helpless baby in a manger? Yes. A helpless baby who now today is the is the what? King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In Revelation 19, 11, he doesn't come back as, oh, I'm so sissified up here. I'm such a wimp. <laughs> I rose again, but I'm such a wimp. And I want, I'm so lonely. Will you come and will you join me, please? I'm so lonely up here. Revelation 19, 11 says what? What does it say? Fire. Revelation 19 and 11 says this. Behold, I come. And it says what? I come to judge and make war. He's a warrior. He's a king of kings. And he's going to judge you for all eternity. Please repent, as my brother Micah says, Elder Mike. Please come to Christ. Please. He's not some sissified wimp in heaven. He is God Almighty, and he has a robe dipped in military blood. 
and he's going to come with crowns and diadems and he's going to speak out of his mouth the word of what truth amen we're going to love you with the truth tonight we're going to love you with the truth ao amy in the greek i am what the way the truth and the life i have it here the way the truth and the life john 8 32 the truth was harvard 1638 bible college look it up john harvard pastor look it up yale 1701 the clergymen were getting tired of Harvard's liberal talk, 1701, Yale, the clergymen came along in New Haven, Connecticut, and they said, we get back to the Bible, God's Word. Do you know anything about the Bible? When Moses built the ark, can I ask a question? How, you doing? how many animals did he have going the way ark? Moses, when he built the ark, how many animals? Did they go two by two? Well, Moses didn't build the ark. No, he did. Anyway, we share with you that the love of Christ tonight. We're seven all going to the graveyard. Paul Walker, 40. Seven. Bobby Brown upside down in the bathtub, 22. There were only seven? There were 14? Robin Williams, 63, committed suicide. Do you know why he committed suicide? Because he had dementia. You could come down to it with dementia. 40, 50, 60. We're not trying to scare you, but we're trying to share with you the love of Jesus. What more could he do on the cross of Calvary? You know, he hung there until every last sin was paid for and for. Well, Pastor, I have I have college debt. I know a gal that has $180,000 in college debt. That's, that's a lot of college debt to pay for. After going six years to school, six post-secondary, she has $180,000 in college debt. You know, we all have something God says called sin debt. We owe God. We've transgressed. We've violated. We've broken God's law. I've done it many a time. The ninth commandment, thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not lie. How many here have never lied before? Come on, people. Come on. Are you ready for some Jesus tonight? Come on. Are you ready for some vitamin J? Come to Christ. Vitamin J. Take it to the cross. Your burdens, your anxieties, your... Take it to the cross. Your hurt, your anxieties, your fears, your rejection. Take it to the cross. There's one that will stand by you, and he will stand with you. Will Trump stand with you? Will Obama, Clinton, Bush? No. Can they save you? <laughs> no. Can a man save you? All we have down here is people looking horizontally. One another. I'm on Facebook, Sally. I'm on Twitter. Oh, hi. My name is Bruce Jenner, and I don't know what I am. I was so upset. Anyway, we challenge you. We challenge you. Come to Jesus, please. I saw Bruce Jenner throw the crazy javelin. He threw the discus. He was. He won the. The Catholic and ten events, he beat the Russian, who was favored, two to one. That Bruce Jenner was a great, great athlete. What's happened to America today? Mark Morley, you know what's happened? Mike, tell the mic. I was like this. You see those cigarettes, that, that pico, that junk down there? That was me, vile, wretched, miserable, wicked, ungodly in my sin. Amen, amen. I was as lost as lost could be like people out here tonight. Would you look up? Would you look vertically? Would you, instead of the horizontal, would you look vertically upward? You know, what matters most is not how you see yourself or how others see you. What matters most is how God sees you. Oh, you say, Pastor, there is no God. Harvard, 1638 Bible College. Pastor John Harvard. What he preached was this. What more could he do? As vile, as wretched as we are. And the Bible says what? Our righteousness is as filthy rags before God. You ever have a filthy rag? A filthy old rag, you start to what? Try to clean yourself? God sees you as a filthy rag in need of a holy savior. Here comes, here he comes again. Here comes, they'll so, attract more people. So we challenge you tonight to come to Jesus. Whether New York City, whether Chicago, whether, whether here in Cambridge, all over we go. And we share that wonderful, wonderful word. No, come over here, but take care of him. Take care, take care of him now. Take care of him right now. We challenge you, please, come. Jesus, please, touch us. If you don't want people calling you filthy rag, don't start it. No, I didn't say that. God says that in his word. God says that. I didn't say God say it. You don't need it. God can tell him that. God can tell him that. You can't. Why can't I? Because it's God's job. But we are no, messengers of God. He says we're messengers of God. Yeah, messengers of God. I'm a messenger of God. No, okay. okay. How do you know? Because you, you're, you're going against the word of God. No, I can see no, a no. We God. both have different interpretations. No, of you can't. No. No. no, no. What's your name? No. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? We're, we're, we're trying to, you see, this is what happens. I'm we're just trying a person to without God's, a microphone. God's That's word. all I am. God's word. God's word. 
You're God's a person without a microphone. God's you are, you are, you are, you're a person without a microphone. Well, no, it doesn't microphone. matter. You're a person without a microphone. So we're all people. Amen. That's what I'm saying. We're all people. Go buy a microphone. Go buy a microphone. Go get angry, man. I'm just saying that we are all people. First John 4. God is love. Why is God angry? Why is God angry? You're angry, love? man. I'm God angry, is angry for the same reason. He doesn't that God know what is kind of work I do. If he did, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, well, you're going to be taken in shortly. That's for sure. We challenge you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank the demons for bringing in. These people who are demonized, he said, our righteousness be a drunkards, our idolaters, I, I know, I was there, I was there, I was like fecal, hallelujah, praise Jesus, thank you, thank you for the persecution, Lord, thank you for who you are, so we challenge people, we're here to love, love, God is love, God is love, God is love, God is love, God loves everyone unconditionally. God loves everyone unconditionally. We have we have the First Amendment, right? God loves us. God loves everyone unconditionally. Yes, He loves everyone unconditionally. That's right. Yes. I agree. Well, we can't go above sixty decimals. Sam. Sam. That's a good. That's good. Yeah. So that's what we share. We share that love. That love tonight. What more could He do? What more could He do? He died. He died on the cross. He shed His blood. What more could He do for you? One drop of that blood will save you for all eternity. One drop will save What more could Jesus do? They crucified our Savior. They, he was smitten. He was beaten. He was bruised beyond recognition. Isaiah 52 says he was what? His countenance was what? Unrecognizable. So we challenge you, please, the love of Jesus can penetrate your soul. Would you become born again tonight? Now, I can use this term if I can. Spiritually being impregnated by the Holy Spirit with what? The seed of God. Let God come into your life. Let the Holy Spirit change you. Mike shared with us, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things pass away. All things become new. All things. All things become new. Uh, Christmas is a time of festivity of lights. There's, no, there's more lights at Christmas time than any other time of the year. Yellow, green, red, beautiful lights. Look at all the beautiful lights. But there's one in John 8, 12 who said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth after me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We know you're coming back. You're the light of the world. Thank you. You're coming back. And you're going to come back to judge and make war? Revelation 19, 11. Lord, help the drunkards tonight, please. Help them, please, Lord. Please. Bless everyone tonight, Lord. We love people. We lo we also love law enforcement. They have a, they, they do a great job, don't they? Thank you for the law enforcement. They have families, too, so pray for them. Amen. They wear the badge. They're the law enforcement, and we obey and respect them. Thank you for them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, he's he quiet when the police are going up. Yeah, that, that's amazing, isn't it? So come to Christ tonight. God bless you all. You want to say a few words? I don't have to. Okay. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. That's possibly a way of looking at it. Hold this. Okay. Hold this. Hold this. Just wanted to do this. Unconditional love. I would, when I look at it. Yes, I thank the Lord for be another day i thank god for this brother he came all the way from connecticut and um you know he stopped by and he wanted to hear the word of god and that just expired me because i love people coming from out of the state or out of the country and come to central square and hear the word of god because we know the word of god is true it's powerful it's sharper than any two-edged sword because i have the word of god in me brother i used to hate people how do you know i used to hate people before I came to Christ. But w once I gave my life to Christ, he put that love inside my heart, then I could love anybody. I could love anybody. I could love all the drunkards. I do love you, brother. I love all my enemies. The Bible say, love your neighbor as you love thyself. And you know that. You know that. It's the love of God within. I don't hate you. You know, you, if you come to me with a humble heart, as I come to you, man, we could we could talk to each other. Who are you, Christ? I'm are you Christ? Coming. You want me to come to you I'm because you're Christ. Christ? No, I said we could talk Christ. to each other. I said we could talk to each other. 
like a relationship. Like yeah. I have a relationship with what, Christ. You think you're Christ. I have you're a relationship. Crazy. I think Listen. you're Christ. I have a relationship with Christ, and I can have Hallelujah. a relationship with anybody else in here. I don't care who you are, because that, that's how much love I have for you. And God is good and all the time. And it's a change, it's a change in my life. It's only because of Jesus Christ. Saying to friends, we warning you, we telling you, because we love you. <laughs> it's the love of God. It's the love of God. And you know, I cannot explain it anymore that God's love is the greatest love. This man love. has a microphone. Why can't greatest I speak love. up? This man has a microphone. Why can't I speak up? There's a store in Harvard Square. That's exactly you can buy, right. You oh, could buy a microphone. Wait, Target. Brother. I don't know. If Target they're... sells um Target. megaphones. Yeah. Does Target sell? Them? Yeah, they do. Target sells megaphones. They I don't know. Really? Oh, love is brilliant. good. Love you're is so good. Smart. Love is kind. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you guys. God is good. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is wonderful. Love is beautiful. And that's why we gotta have love. There's more hate than love in this world. We got to love one another. The Bible says he gave us a new commandment is to love one another. But you got to love the Lord thy God because he's our first love. Because he died on the cross for you. That's his first love. He died for the whole entire world. John 3.16. It said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And God wants to give you everlasting life. Doesn't matter if you're drunkard or you're alcoholic, if you're a drug user, if you're uh, uh, abortionist, or if you're doesn't care, doesn't care. What do you mean? It's all it's if all I'm about yourself. You don't think that's okay? It's not okay. I'm not saying it is. Yes, you just did. I'm saying that okay God, I'm an abortionist. God could love you more than anything else, man. God could change you. That's what I'm saying. All these things not going to inherit the kingdom of God. But that's why you have to change your life and come to Christ. The Bible says, come unto him, all dear labor and heavy laden, and he will give you rest. And Jesus Christ wants to give you rest unto your soul. Oh, because it's not the flesh. Because flesh and blood would not inherit the kingdom of God. It's your spirit, it's your soul. And that's what counts. Jesus Christ came to save your soul, not your flesh. Because the flesh profits nothing. The flesh is full of anger and hate. And evil and 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 Are you talking all about these your things. Own flesh? You're talking about your own flesh, brother. It's a spirit. It's the spirit no, of God. You're talking about your own flesh. Inside of me is a spirit. Inside no, of you, you is a spirit. No, you just said it was your own flesh. That's what you just said. Inside of me is a spirit. I'm I'm the spirit is 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 like a, the flesh is like a shell over your spirit. It's your soul that needs to be saved, not your flesh. It's not your flesh. The flesh profits nothing, man. It's weak. But God is good, man. And I want to, um, I want to pass this mic over to the, over here to my brother right here. To say a few words, not to be long. Hey, good evening. How are you doing? Um, hey, how are you doing? You mentioned the, uh, you know, abortion. When they do the abortion, it's twelve weeks. He mentioned that the abortion. The baby has he 10. said it's okay to be an abortionist. No, it's that's not. That's what he I just said. Okay. You have to repent. Anyone who that's says like I'm going to change my ways, repents of military turn it means to do a 180 or an about face. Amen. It totally changed your ways. Baby, if you don't from, look at me, I won't exist. I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I've uh, lost after women that were my wife. Amen. But I prayed for forgiveness. And I asked people who I'd uh, wronged in my life to forgive me. And I believe Jesus died on the cross. I was baptized. And Amen. it changed me. Amen. Amen. And you could be changed too. People think it's not a big deal to kill babies, but they have they have a heartbeat in three months. And they can feel the pain as they're ripped apart, disemboweled in the womb. So. Did somebody fly you guys in from South Dakota? Jesus. You're, you're not locals here. This is a total coincidence. I've seen, here. Here I've seen you before. I know you. I'm local too. <laughs> but I moved away. I live in Woburn. I live in the woods of Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> a madman crying in the woods of Connecticut. Make straight the way of the Lord. Jesus is coming soon, folks. Amen. Amen. He's coming to 
to reap the good with the bad. How do you know it's not a her? I've seen him. You've seen him? You're crazy! <laughs> You've seen a hallucination? No, I've never hallucinated. <laughs> I'm a witness to the resurrected Christ. Amen. Jesus. Amen. I can't oh deny the things God. I've seen. Sorry. Sorry You're that you haven't seen it, but I have. But if you pray and ask Jesus, Psalm 24 says that we are the generation that seeks your face, O God of Salem. But it's those who have clean hands and a pure heart. I don't know. So that's He's not going to preach about Jesus. He's, he's, he's against us. You know what I'm yeah. Because nobody else will listen to you. Nobody's here. Nobody wants to hear you. Yeah, to hear his word. To hear his word. And he's yelling and screaming. I don't want the fucking well, microphone. What are you doing? Just uh, turning in my Bible. You preach about the word of God. We give you the microphone. So I can quote it. Because I'm out of quote. All right. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who should, should stand think. in this holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. I don't heart. want to tell. Who hath not lifted up his soul into the vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Salah. Amen. 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 Praise Jesus. That's uh, my life song. That's my favorite song in the whole world. After I, after I read that song, I prayed and I asked, what does that mean to see your face? To seek your face. Can we really seek your face? No. And then I, uh, I got my thing. answer. I can talk over them. That's all I have to say. That's fine. That suits me fine. Guys, you have to repent and seek Jesus Shit. Christ. Amen. Every man is a liar. Every man is a thief. Without Jesus, you'll just keep sitting and you'll end up in everlasting Shit. darkness. Because, and pain. because you're using and the worm will eat you forever. Christ is Take the, the reason. Out of it. That's right. Christ is the reason for the season. Take yeah. the microphone out of it. Boston. He came to save us from sin and death. Where the worm does not die. The worm eats your face and eats your body. Worm forever. eats your face? Well, they found worms in lava pits in Alaska. Oh my God. Living at 2,000 so degrees. Up. So if that can exist in nature. Holy, holy, holy. Nobody, he's not the asking Lord anybody. Almighty. He doesn't care. Merciful and mighty. God in three persons. The Father, like, what? the Son, no and the Holy Ghost. No microphone. The Holy Ghost. That's what's shaking whatever's inside of you and making you quake. He's a good man. I know he's good man. Amen. I'm not great at freestyling. That's all right. Me neither. I got into it there I'm trying to talk yeah, over this. Microphone. Yosef. Yosef. What am I saying? I believe in Jesus. Good for you. Thank you. Yosef. Why does everybody else have to hear that? Because he said that you have to go ah! in the world to all the Why nations and every people. Yep. What I tell you in the ear, that you shout from the rooftops. What I tell you in secret, proclaim on the streets. Yosef. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at quoting. But I heard the gist of it. Oh, yeah. We live in a society now where uh, hypocrisy is an all-time high. We live in a time where one message is accepted, but another message is not accepted. If one person were to preach that there is only one God, that would obviously be rejected and looked at as hateful. But if another message was preached where every God has to be accepted except for one, then that is accepted in this world. Well, I'll tell you this, that once upon a time, God wanted to rule and reign on this world, and he still does. He wants to rule and reign 
from his land in Jerusalem and he wants to establish a kingdom on this planet and he wants to establish a kingdom within us and among us. He wants to rule and reign in the hearts of his people. And what happened was God had delegated, delegated his power first to angels and other divine beings and they screwed up. That's all you had to do. And the people of the world started following do. them in their false messages and their false philosophies well, that had scattered throughout the whole world. Eventually, when God made his own people, he was to bring his king through those people so that he can rule and reign on this planet. Yeah, we're touching this. We're touching him. What sense is it to believe in a God that does not want to fellowship with his people? What sense is it to say that there is some being out there or some invisible being out there that has not shown his face on the planet? Our beliefs is the only one that states that there was a man who showed himself to be God and showed himself to die like a man and yet still reign over death. Ours is the only one that is set apart for the purpose of ruling and reigning on the earth and ruling over death itself. If you could ask me what made me believe, it's the need to overcome death and suffering. Now you could reason with me about history, you could reason with me about the grammar of the Bible, you could reason with me about you know, the difference between Hinduism, Islam, all these different uh, religions. But I can tell you that of all the religions that I had explored in my youth, the only one that stood out was Judeo-Christianity, in which God gave his Torah on Mount Sinai. And God gave his way of living to his people. God rescued his people out of the sea. God rescued his people out of Egypt. God rescued his people throughout all of history. And he will continue to do so to this day. Amen. God had given a way out of their way. And God had given a way through a man. She does not, but she's with us. And through his church, and through his people, and through his nation, Israel. Okay, um, I met her here, Central Square. Really? Yeah. There will be one day a kingdom I, on this planet situated in the Middle East and extending throughout the whole world. Where well, we will what all you celebrate the deliverance. You know, she was like three, 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 and we will all months. celebrate the deliverance she's from death old. and suffering. Amen. And we will all celebrate the fact that God has taken us out of this world and recreated the world to make it like Eden. I didn't know you was wrong. I thought you were somebody else, my brother. To make it like Eden, like it was before oh, sin entered the world. Before rebellion against the Creator. Let me define what sin is. Rebellion against the Creator. Now you may ask yourself, you may ask me, but I don't believe that I'm a re rebel against the Creator. I believe I'm doing oh, the best that I can, you probably are. You may not understand, you may not know what rebellion against the Creator actually is. It has to be defined for you. That is why ignorance yeah, is looked upon man. by the Creator with mercy. I'm too, I'm too I'm not working, I'm not working Monday through Friday. Like, That's why He is a merciful God. That's why He is a forgiving God. That's why He is a loving God. And that's why he sent his son to die to show that atonement, to show that forgiveness, to show that love. What happened to Uber? But at the same time, if that is to be rejected, then there is no more forgiveness and mercy that day that we die. And there is no more opportunity after that. Okay, good, good, good. There is no more opportunity if you could imagine not being right with your creator, which is should be our top priority. 
Our top priority should not be I know, you do, you do. changing the oil in our cars. No, I, um, our top priority should not be what's lunch or what's dinner. Our top priority should not be getting a gift for Christmas. Our top priority in life is to wake up and to seek to know our Creator who put us here on this planet for a special and unique purpose. If we are not doing that, then there is no point to life. Then we're just running the rat race, and we're just, just like I was years ago, right in this square, running around, trying to make a name for myself. But that kind of fame led to nothing. People knew me, I knew them, and yet at the end of the day, the only friends that I have today are in the church. The only friends I have left that are still around are in the church. Everybody that I used to run around with, only a few people are still around. Many of them died, many of them are in prison, and many of them are still just running around lost, not knowing what to do in life. And we all are not perfect people. But the only perfect people is the one that seeks for righteousness in his glory and not our own glory. How you doing, brother? We here on Sunday. Speak Spanish? I'm hungry. You hungry? You hungry? All right. Give me something. All right. So we can uh, maybe after we pack up, if you stick around, we can we can go in here and get something small for you. I do got a Bible. I do got a Bible. You want a Bible? You speak Spanish? No. No. What is your, what's your language? Are you speak English? Obviously. You read. You read. I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. What, what's your orientation toward God? How do you? Uh, what, do you what do you? What do you believe? What, how, how, yeah, what's man, your you're part of the crew, God? man. You're part of the crew. You believe? Okay. I consider you part of us, man. Because, you believe um, in yeah. yourself? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, God created you to do something special on this yeah. earth, but what do you think that is? What do you? What do you think that is? What do you? Why do you think God put you here? Yeah. Yeah. I want to free. I want to well, if you believe in yourself, look at you, look, look what's happening here. Because, you know, don't judge it. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Like, like, you know, I can for a couple hours. Uh -huh. really good. Then you feel good. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you feel good. God, God takes okay. care of you. Well, I've, I've already fed somebody tonight, so I don't know if you could ask one of these other people here, because I've already done so tonight. So you can ask uh, Cindy, you can ask uh, Brother Michael here, you can ask this brother here. But what I want to tell you is I want to tell you that God has a plan for you and he wants to use you for his glory. But you can't live for just that. Is that all you live for? Is that all you live for? That's it. And then you die and then what? Yes, and then you die and then what? You die. You die and then what? Then there's nothing. Okay. You know, you know. But you don't live for that. You live for him, right? You're supposed to live for him. I, I do for myself. You live for yourself. Yeah. So that's why you're asking people for money because you're living for yourself. No, no. I, I got money. Okay, you got money. Yeah. So why you ask us? Because you want something for free. You know. You have a free gift. Uh, I want you to use that. I want you to use that free gift. You have it. You have prayer, you have the Word of God. I want you to use that. That's a free gift. Nobody's charging you for that. You get a meal and then you're going to be hungry later. You take the Word of God, you won't be hungry. Show the money. Money's just paper. That's all it is. Money is paper. Money is just paper. No, no. who this is? No, no. This one. Ron. Sure. Oh, Ron. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know you I'm look a little different than... Uh, so, yeah. yeah well, I got I you working in the um, elements. Okay, okay. So, yeah. uh, No Shave November turned into like, so, my face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're a blessing. Through. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for taking time. Mike, and Michael, you used the uh, mic. That was beautiful. Yeah. 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 Come on. Give me, give me. I, um, I, I need money. Yeah. Come in money. I don't have problem. That's not going to save you, man. It's not going to save you. Come in money. Don't you want to improve yourself? You said you love yourself. You want to... You don't want gold, you want gold, you don't want silver, you want silver. I need gold. I need gold. No, no silver, no silver. Too cheap. Too cheap. Okay, so you need gold. 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 
So what is Christmas? What is Christmas? Why do we celebrate Christmas? Why do we give gifts on this, on this time, December 25th? Well, first of all, I don't believe that Jesus was born on this date, but what's important is that we started celebrating this day because there were people saying that this guy, Jesus, never existed. People were saying that Yeshua, Jesus, never existed. That's why we celebrate Christmas, because the incarnation, that this man came into our world, into our being, into our, into our lives. The very reason why we celebrate this holiday is to remember that this man really was a man. Because if you go to Harvard University over here, they're going to tell you that this, Je this Jesus never existed. Hey, sir, sir, please. Let, let, sir. Oh, okay, cool. There's your money. Oh, that, wow, that's your money? a lot of money. Is that yours? Wow. Yeah, it, it. So, no, so no, you're no. giving it to us as a donation? Is that no, what you're doing? No, no, no. You can feed somebody else. Look, you can feed, You have enough to feed somebody else, too. We have a lot of men, though. You got enough, you got enough. Don't worry about it, you got enough. God gave it, God gave it to you, you got enough. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Sure, I don't know what you're talking about, but anyway. So, well, I got, I got, I don't know, you don't speak Spanish, right? You don't speak Spanish? No, no, no. Okay, okay. What, 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 what nationality? Ah, in the book. And the wolf. Yeah, That's where you came from. Are you Portuguese? Of course. We're all from the wolf. Yeah. Oh, no, in the wolf. Yeah, in the wolf. Oh, okay. You're Portuguese. In the wolf. I don't know. What so we, we create, okay. we uh, okay. celebrate this holiday so that uh, you know, religion, we can remember that this is really good. Religion is the only body. I need, I need, I need. Religion is the only body. Watch out, watch out now. Yeah. Watch out. This religion is the only body. He was body. a man unlike body. any other. Officer. He had power like any other. He could command the elements of the world. He could command the spirits. He fought the elements of evil. And this so man overcame Cindy, death. Do you do, you do any, uh, On the third day, he overcame before, death. Right? Oh, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. That's right. Jesus is coming. That's right. Coming? He's coming. He's coming how, to this how earth. How many times coming? He's With coming to this earth. Church. That's right. Ah, yeah. That's right. Church. Yeah. Church. Why do you reject this? Why do you reject this? Why do you not want this to happen? Are you afraid? Are you afraid of him coming? No. No? We're afraid. afraid. We're afraid for him. We just are in a... Oh, oh, yeah. oh Winchester. You want him to come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 no, minutes. No, no. No, 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 no. It's a blessing. Tell each other. Yeah. I want to fly. Uh, to go to church? You want to fly? No, you want to go up? No, I come here. You want to go up into heaven? Like well, he's coming here. You know that, right? He's coming. Ah, yes. Both church. Yeah. yeah. Kisses? Both church. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure you know what you're talking about. Yeah. The life, sir. The life. I'm not sure you know what you're talking about. Okay. The life. You got a life. Yeah. I'm having a hard time understanding. So, uh, so we celebrate this day in commemoration. It is not a commanded holiday. It's not in the Bible. Jesus never told us to celebrate his birthday. Jesus never told us to celebrate his birthday, but we do it because we remember that he was an actual man and he came into this world. So, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who say, "Well, it's because the church is full of hypocrites, that we can't believe anything that any preacher say." But that's not true. You can go and find a good preacher. You can go and find. You can go and look in the Bible yourself and read it for yourself. You don't need to listen to a preacher. You don't Amen, need to listen to, it, to, to preacher, people in the brother, church. Yes. You can read the Bible for yourself and find out what he said. That's right. I'm not suggesting that you interpret any way you want, but once you clearly read it in the black and white, it should be clear to you what it says. It should be clear to you what it says about yes. salvation. It should yes. be clear to you what it says yes. about living. It should be clear to you what it says about money. It should be clearly clearly understood what it says about sexuality. It should be clearly Amen. understood. We don't have to dispute with, with, with what is written. All I'm suggesting to you is that you compare what the Bible says with what the Bagad, uh, with what the Gita says. And you, you choose for yourself. I'm not trying to take your choice away. I'm not trying to take your unique perspective away. 
I'm not trying to take that away. What I'm what I'm saying is, when you read it for yourself and you compare it to other religions, there is no comparison whatsoever. What is the superior, and what is ultimately more meaningful? Other other philosophies can somewhat be similar. Other philosophies can be somewhat uh, enlightening, but there is no comparison at the end of the day. Yes, that's true. No comparison whatsoever. God had demonstrated over centuries that he is superior to the other gods uh, the other gods of Egypt. He's, he showed himself superior to the gods of the east. He showed himself superior to Baal. He showed himself superior to Ra in Egypt, the sun god. He showed himself Mike, superior. The problem was, he never said he was superior. He said he did this for everyone. He never said he was superior. Not that wrong. Okay. Do you know the Bible? Do you know it? Do you have a verse? Do you have a verse? CNBC? Okay, what's the verse? Of course he loves us for all. Of course. John 3.16, I agree with you. John 3.16, yeah. Of course he did, but he's still superior because of that. He rose from the dead. Tell me, can you rise from the dead? Can you rise from the dead, sir? Can you raise Sam Adams or Paul Hancock? I'll believe in you. One day we are all going to rise from the dead because of him. One day Amen. he is the firstborn and we are all going to rise yes, from the grave the and be judged. Like and then we will see who is the Second superior God. God. Yes, there are other deities that look like deities. There are other false gods that look like gods. But ours is the one who had created all other ones. Preach he is the it, most brother. high. Preach it, brother. Preach it. He is the most high. I don't know. If God had created other gods, he's still the superior God. Yahweh, I am. He is who he is. He is who he is, and nobody can tell him otherwise who he is. Who are we to tell him who he is? That's like me coming up to you and telling you, calling you by a different name. That's like me going up to somebody and asking them what their name is and then calling them by a different name. Who are we to call God by a different name? Who are we to call God by a different character? Who are we to mischaracterize who he is? He has clearly written to us through prophets and told us who he is and showed us in the flesh of his son who he is and how he behaves. Who are we to tell him who God is? We don't have a right to tell God who he is. He tells us who he is. Amen. Sovereign God. So if anybody has a question, you like, you're I welcome. One. Yes. I'm 58 years old. Uh -huh. I just got out of the Gilbert House of Correction. Uh -huh. I'm from Fall River, Massachusetts. Praise the Lord. I'm stranded. Hey, this brother's from Fall River. Today I would like to speak Fall about the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rope for part. And I'd like to tell all of you I'm that a lot of times. We don't want to give our life to Jesus because we say that we are living um, a worthless and a terrible life because we are doing a lot of bad things. But one thing I would like to tell you that the Holy Spirit, He is there to help us. The Holy Spirit, He is the Spirit. He is the powerful Spirit of God who is there to help us. And also for you Christians who are walking around, I just want to let you know that if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are actually being, you are actually doing nothing. Because Jesus Christ himself, before receiving the Holy Spirit, he did not start ministry. So, when the day, the day Jesus Christ got baptized by his cousin John, then the Bible says that the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. And from there, Jesus Christ started his ministry. So what the Bible is trying to tell us, if Jesus Christ did not do nothing without his spirit, you yourself, you cannot do nothing without the spirit of God. And you cannot say, you know what, I've read this, I've read that. No, there is no type of interpretation of human being. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that the spirit of God is the one who is going to teach us all things that we need to know. Yes. And the Holy, and also I would like to tell you that I am personally tired of walking around and just preaching. If you're there right now and you're listening to me, you should be tired of just preaching. We should also, you know, we should, we, we should, we should live the gospel with power because the Holy Spirit is right and He is power. I want to see the dead raised. I want to see the, I want to see the cripple 
that will start walking. I, I want to see miracles so happening. And the only way for this yes. to happen yes. is by us having the Holy Spirit. Yes. So you cannot so say, you cannot just say, you know what, I'm going out and I'm preaching. I am literally tired of just preaching. I want one dead person, I want this one dead person to raise. I want this one person to raise as Jesus did. Because the Bible said that when Jesus was going out and he was doing good, the Bible said that Jesus Christ was doing a lot of miracles. Jesus Christ was not just preaching. Jesus Christ was healing people. Jesus Christ was showing to the Jesus Christ was showing the power of God. And another thing that the Bible says, because a lot of people think that, oh, you know what, uh, we just have to preach and people will be saved. There are some people who will be saved only through the preaching. But there are also other people who will find salvation when they Okay. see because jesus christ says that and they believed in him after they after they saw the miracles yes. that jesus christ did so we must work with Lord power Lord we Lord. must work with power honestly i've never raised the dead but i'm gonna start raising the dead yes. now honestly i've never i've never been able to heal a crippled person i mean god has never used me to do that but god is about to use me to do this so for the next time that you guys are gonna see us miracles must happen miracles must happen and if you have your ministry and you're doing ministry outside i'll just let you know and i'll just i want to encourage you to start seeking for the power of the holy spirit because we are not just serving a talkative god because at the end of the day when we go around and we preach the bible to people right they also are preaching the quran they also are preaching whatever they are preaching but what makes us different yes jesus christ died on the cross yes jesus christ did this and that but it's the power people want to see power and personally what attracted me to god especially was power so let's stop being those you know those who we think that we are so holy you know what you just preach and you're okay no we must start doing miracles because we we are christian we are christ-like we are following jesus and we must follow the the, the, the footstep of jesus so if you want to follow the footstep of jesus what you need to do is to do what jesus did jesus christ went out he started doing good he was preaching and he was healing and he was delivering and he was doing all yes, sorts of yes, things yes, why yes, because yes, the holy yes. spirit is there so let's allow the holy spirit to work through us because we cannot just and especially if you're i mean because there are a lot of people you know who they go out and they start preaching but they preach without power so one thing i want to tell you is that it's not about because me for instance i have difficulties in speaking but it's not about what you say it's about the holy spirit back in you it's about power it's about power because the holy spirit is right here and he wants to manifest yes, himself yes, yes. but in order for him to manifest glory, himself glory, he yes, needs people on. who are seeking for his They're power watching. Watching. he needs They're people watching. who are going to believe in the power of the holy spirit you cannot be a christian and you don't even believe in the power of the holy spirit my god is the god who is able to raise the dead and from now on i'm telling you guys i'm tired of this what i'm doing God is going to start using me to do this. And I want to also encourage you. Hallelujah. Seek for the power. Thank you. And before I, I end here, I would like to sing a song. Oh, here oh. God is amazing. I love Jesus. Guys, Jesus is my baby. Jesus is my darling. Jesus is my all in all. Jesus is my husband. Jesus is my fiance. Jesus is my lover. Jesus is my partner. Jesus is my everything. And I'm not ashamed to say that because I love Jesus him he is the best and he is that I, I don't love nobody i mean i love people and uh, whatever you know but jesus christ is exceptional i love jesus and you can have a relationship and you can have a relationship with jesus because he is a god who can speak and he is a god who can listen to hallelujah preach it sister hallelujah sing it oh. You are holy, you are Lord, holy, you are holy, you are Jehovah, Believe.
lips said hi Jesus you've been lifted said hi hi believe said hi let my king believe said hi oh Jesus, in the highest. let my Jesus be lifted high, Hosanna, you Jesus. Trust in you. Though I walk through valleys low, I'll fear no evil. By the water, still my soul, my heart will trust in you, Lord. My heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you, Lord. My heart will trust in you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So uh, we are about to sign off. And uh, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, remember, put, keep Christ in Christmas. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Yes. He wasn't born on the 25th, but he was born. He was born. He was born. If he wasn't born, we would not be here. We would not be born. If he wasn't born, we would not be born ourselves. <laughs> amen. So that's why that's why we've got to be born again. But uh, I, I thank God for the word of God. And um, we'll be back next Sunday to, um, to share the gospel. And um, God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, I just want to say one thing. I want to give it back to uh, Elder Mike. But, you know, there's an old saying. He's checking the list. He's checking it twice. <laughs> He's going to find out if you're naughty or nice. Jesus Christ is coming to town. Okay? He's coming. He's coming back in all of his glorious fullnesses. He's coming back with life-changing, certifying, demonstrative power. Oh, come to Christ tonight. Come to Christ. Come to the foot of the cross. Kneel. Bow before him. King of kings and Lord of lords. And I close with this. Philippians 2.9. Wherefore God hath also what? Highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That the name of what? The name of what? Jesus. At the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. Yeshua. Every knee shall bow and every tongue, language, shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Poor man. And all the people said amen. amen. Back to Brother, brother Elder Mike. Back to Elder shot. Mike. Here we go, Elder Mike. Who, him? Yeah. How do you know that? He told me. God bless Pastor Wayne. I, I preached with him Saturday in downtown Boston. And it's good to fellowship with other people. Yeah, um, I'm coming back on Sunday night. So I'm going right. to some people God. with me, too. Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you in Jesus' Tony's name. Peace. Peace, 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 shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Jehovah, shama. Jehovah, sit here. Is that trans over here? Is that trans? Yeah, that's trans. I had all these. Oh, there you go.
That's great stuff. Good stuff, though. It's great because you know what's good about this? It's a good fishing hole. There are people across the street waiting for the bus to hear hearing. Yeah. They're hearing. Well, they're not really hearing. They hear. They do. They do. They hear it.